Hey everyone, Nathan here from Warrior Home Fitness. Welcome to day three of our video bootcamp series. Uh, day three is all about establishing your baseline in order to help you reach your fitness goals and get in the best shape of your life. So, uh, again, welcome to day three. But first, before we get started, just want to simply, you know, thank you guys for being here, making it this far to day three. Uh, and I really commend you for really, you know, sticking out with it so far. Uh, it really shows how important this is to your life, how important it is, and how much value uh, that th this video series is and how it can really change your life and help you get in the best shape of your life. So uh, thank you guys so much again. I hope you've received also some value from day one and day two. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please don't ever hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help you guys. That's the point of this video series is to help you guys, you know, really get started on the right track, reach your goals, and get in the best shape of your life. So... Uh, thank you again. All right, let's get started with day three. All right, day three, establishing your baseline. Now, there are a couple critical steps here I'm going to be going over, so I recommend you you definitely take some notes, get a piece of paper and a pen, whatever you have to do to take down those notes to get these steps and establish them into, into the routine here, into your fitness program, okay? Now, step one in establishing your baseline. Uh, step one simply just kind of goes over Something that people kind of miss out on. They really don't follow through with. Uh, and it's a very critical step in order to help you reach your goals. Um, and and step one simply follows through to a reference point. And that reference point is, is keeping track and, and taking down your measurements, your before pictures, and also your weight. That's a reference point because people can always go back to that to make sure they go back to their baseline or their reference point in order to help them reach their goals. Okay, so again, take your measurements, take your before pictures, and take your weight. Now, I understand this can be uncomfortable for you. I understand that, you know, well, how does this, you know, play into, you know, me helping me reach my goals? It's crucial. That's the first thing right there. By you saying that you're at, you know, you're, that you're uncomfortable doing it. Getting out of your comfort zone is a mindset thing. It's a great step in the right direction. So getting out of your comfort zone taking your before pictures have someone else take those before pictures for you of uh, if you're a girl whether you wear you know a sports bra and workout shorts uh, whether you wear your bikini uh, whatever you need to do to really show your body definition to show your body type because you need to show that you need to show where you're at and it's okay you know don't be embarrassed um, what you should be embarrassed of is not making it not being here for day three. You should, be, you should be embarrassed if you've never made it this far, but you have. So you should be proud of yourself. So take those before pictures because it's going to be a critical step in order to reach your goals. Take your measurements. That's going to track if you're losing body fat, if you're putting on muscle on your body and, and really gearing towards burning fat, building muscle, and building a, a better metabolism and better health for your body, okay? Uh, and then tracking your weight. Losing weight is a great thing, but it's not the most important. But you do want to track your weight because it is motivating knowing that you are losing weight and you are on the right track. Uh, and you're, you're really establishing those three things into step one because those things are so critical starting out in order to reach your goals. Um, I, I really, you know, I guarantee a lot of you probably have never done that before. Nine out of, you know, nine out of ten of you probably have never taken your measurements, your before pictures, and tracked your weight all at the same time. And I highly recommend you do that over a, a period of, you know, 30 days on a regular basis. Every 30 days, you're keeping track and you're taking your measurements, your before pictures, and your weight, okay? Uh, now, before we get started with step two, real quick, first step one, I included two videos below to help you uh, and show you how to take the best before pictures and also how to track your measurements, okay? So those two videos will really help you out a lot of how to take the best before pictures and how to take your measurements, guys. All right? Awesome. Now, on to step two. Step two is something that people also miss out on a lot and really skip. They don't feel it's important. They just go on and they do the workout program without following through with this, with this simple step. And that's doing the fit test. Completing the fit test and taking on the fit test before you start your workout program on day one on the calendar on the schedule. Okay, so do the fit test, complete the fit test. That's going to track your progress, your athletic performance, and your results over that you know that 30, 60, 90 day period. Okay, 
And the importance in that is, for instance, Insanity has a fit test. Uh, insanity fit test is tough. All the fit tests are tough. But uh, the Insanity one is great because what they do is they, they focus on certain, certain moves throughout the entire workout, uh, the entire Insanity program. And those couple moves are geared towards a fit test to track your reps for each move, which is awesome. Now, the reason why they do that is, for example, you do your fit test for Insanity every two weeks. So day one, you do your fit test. Uh, say one move, you only got eight, you know, eight, eight reps. Well, two weeks later, you do the fit test again. And when you do 10 to 12 reps of that same move and you track it and you see it on there, you're establishing your performance. You're establishing the workout, you know, the workout moves and the, and the workouts to show that you're getting results. And that's that's motivating. That's motivating in itself. Knowing that you're getting better, you're you're showing improvement, and, and you're you're seeing results with the workouts. Okay, and you're getting stronger. You're getting faster. You're getting whatever it may be. You're getting healthier. I mean, th th that's very important. So don't skip the fit test, guys. Don't skip it. It's a crucial step. And make sure you do the fit test before you start P90X and Sandy, whatever the workout program is. Do the fit test. Track that and establish that baseline. Okay, guys? All right. Now, this brings me to my next point in establishing your baseline, step three. Now, step three is crucial, too, because establishing your baseline really covers a lot of different areas. But the one that I think that a lot of people simply forget about the most out of everything, uh, especially if you're doing a workout program like P90X or anything that involves any weight training, is is to keep track of your reps, your sets for each move, for each workout. So what I did whenever I did the workouts for P90X in my transformation was I tracked down every single workout. So say it was chest and back workout, you know, day one, chest and back. What I did was each exercise in that workout, chest and back, the DVD, I had a I had a journal where I tracked the workouts for day one, day two, etc. Chest and back, I put down the move. Say it was push-ups. Say it was pull-ups. Um, it was rows. It was, um, you know, whatever maybe whatever the move was. You know, I tracked it down. So say it was pull-ups, pull-ups. I wrote down how many reps I did. Okay. Now what's cool is every single week I got better at pull-ups. Now, there might have been one week where I w it was the same, you know, but but it ended up going up most likely every week or every other week. Say it was a move where you had weight, where you were you were lifting weight. So say it was a shorter press. Shorter press, I did, you know, 30 pounds of a shorter press, you know, the first shoulder and arm workout, shoulders and arms. So, for instance, say two weeks from then or even a month, the reps that I did and the weight increased – from the first time I did the workout. And you can track all that every time you do it, every week. So that's showing your improvement and you're getting stronger, you're increasing your weight, you're doing more reps. So that's a critical, really critical step that people don't do. And they don't keep track of a journal of the workouts, of the reps, um, of each exercise that they're doing. Okay, And that's something I also included below for you is a journal or a workout uh, a tracker to track every exercise, every workout that you're doing, a journal to track down your reps, your sets, your weight for the workouts. Okay, guys, that's very important. I included that also below. You'll see that below this video. So you can download that or save that to your computer and print that out for yourself. It's awesome. Okay. Uh, now, the last step that I have for you guys in order to establish your baseline to help you reach your goals and get in the best shape of your life also is going to reward you for achieving your goals and focusing on establishing that baseline. How awesome is that? Right? Awesome. So <laughs> now step four focuses on geared towards what step one was, but really what it does is it gives you the opportunity to get rewarded for achieving your goals. And that includes step four with the beach body challenge contest. So Everyone who enters in their results into the Beachbody Challenge contest has a chance to win $500, $1,000, $5,000, $25,000, a $100,000. Um, most likely, you have a better chance of winning the $500 or 1000 
I personally won the thousand dollars in the Beach Body Challenge contest with my transformation with P90X, drinking my Shakeology every day, taking the Beach Body supplements, uh, and focusing on being consistent with the workouts, eating right, drinking Shakeology, taking the supplements. Uh, and, and I couldn't have done that if I didn't establish my baseline, if I didn't take my before pictures, if I didn't track my measurements, if I didn't take my weight, if I didn't do that every 30 days. You see how critical that is? Now, some of you might not care about the Beach Beachbody Challenge contest and winning some extra money, but, you know, if I'm going to do it and I have a chance to win some money and I get an awesome transformation, why not enter in your results and get a shot at winning $500 or even $1,000 like I won. If I did it, trust me, that was my goal was to win $1,000. That was one of my motives. And I set that as a goal and I did whatever it took to get there. And my coach taught me to do what I'm telling you to do right now is establish your baseline, follow all of these steps, all the things I'm telling you to do. And it's going to help you reach your goals and better your chances of winning the $1,000 like I did. And if I did it, you can do it too. There's no reason why you can't become a Beach Body Challenge winner, guys. Okay? So, you know, and last but not least, I mean, the step four of the Beach Body Challenge contest, when you enter in your results, um, it's a great feeling, but you also, you know, you get rewarded by getting a free t shirt of that workout program that you completed, uh, whether it's P90X, Insanity, T25, uh, Turbo Fire, whatever it may be, you get a free t shirt, which is you know, cool, free t-shirt, right, who doesn't like free t-shirts, so, um, that's about it, guys, I mean, it, I hope you, you know, really focus on the importance of day three here, the importance of establishing your baseline, and why it is critical, so critical, in order to keep you on the right track, to keep you motivated, that's the most important thing, and have the right mindset to keep you motivated, because if you're not seeing those, the results, if you're maybe feeling frustrated, Tracking your measurements, your weight, um, tracking down your reps, your workouts, and knowing that you're getting stronger, you know, you're lifting more weight, or um, you know, you're you're noticing your measurements are going down, or your before pictures compared to your day 30. Wow, there's a there's there is a difference, even though I can't see in the mirror, there is a difference. And that's why it's important because it's gonna keep you motivated uh, to keep you on track and focus on the reason why you're here and the reason why you're watching this video, and that's to better your life to better your health, get in the best shape of your life, and to change your life here with Warrior Home Fitness and with Beachbody. So thank you guys so much. Hope you received some value, incredible value from today, day three. Um, if you have any you know, comments, please put them below. If you have any questions, put them below as well. Uh, guys, thank you for being here. I commend you again for being here for day three. It shows how important this is to you, and it for me, that's that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm a coach is to better your life, is to help you reach your goals. And, guys, God bless. Make it a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow in day four with something that I'm very, very excited to talk to you guys about. Okay? Awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care, and God bless, guys.